to the outside edge of the box was roughly 16 and a half minus two inches. So we're 14 and a half inches. That's as far back as we wanna come. Measure across the front here. So we got two points we can work with here. It's a corner here at the front and a corner here at the front. There's 27 and a quarter inches from inside bottom corner to inside bottom corner. 13 and 5 eighths of an inch. And we're just gonna double check our measurements. 13 and 5 eighths of an inch. Little dot right there, that's 13 and 5 eighths of an inch. All right, so now what we've done is we've measured from this corner, two foot to this inside edge here. We've done the same thing over there. And we found the center from the inside line here to the inside line there is exactly 48 inches. And we placed a black dot here. So this black dot is center and that black dot is center. So the Baldwin Ironworks tray does move the foot pedal further back. If I slide it up to the front line, my front center line, it sits a lot further forward. But if I cut the hole out here, it leaves me right at three and a quarter inches. I'm not a big fan of that little of material between there and there, because I feel like this is, could become a weak spot. So I'm gonna move it back to the other line, but it gives me almost five inches of material at that point, which is still well clear of my box, uh, the, the dry box in the front there. I couldn't put this box far, far enough forward to get the foot tray, the foot pedal to sit in the foot tray on the original mounting area. So that's, that's that. So now we've got dead center of the boat, dead center of our, of our template. Double and triple check as per the instructions say. So now we just need to cut the carpet out. Now we get to cut foam out. We got the box cut out, foam trimmed out, tested the thing, and now we're cutting a hole for the drain tube to go down to the build. So obviously this is your tray here. Let me zoom out. Tray here. You can go right here to your front valve panel and there's a tube that runs down the, the whole of the boat. Most boats have this. However, when you put the tray in, the nipple that hangs off the bottom of the tray is actually lower, and the tray itself is lower than the tube entrance is up here. So you end up going down and then back uphill and here. And what it does, it puts your water level inside your tray. So what I did was I dug down here and I don't know if you can see that. I tapped, I tapped the drain tube lower. Now it is just drilled in right now. I have silicone. I'm gonna silicone that in. And then I have foam. And I'm gonna foam that back in place so that it stays in an upright position until it gets to about right here. So a little expanding foam in there, a little expand and fill in that cavity and hold that tube a little tighter. So I wanna discuss what I did to fix my drain tube issue. Not issue, but what I felt was gonna be an issue. So I had to drill down into the tube. I filled this back full of foam to support the tube, keep it from coming out. So now what I've done is I put a 90 down there, a 90, a piece of tube in between the two, another 90, and then on the drain pan, I put a small piece of tube in a 90. So now my tube will not kink when it's in here. Now we're just putting epoxy on the sealing the edges here using five minute jb weld epoxy so it sets up a lot faster a little more progress took everything apart here thinking i was going to feed it through the front there's a little hole right here but i didn't like the way it looks so we're going to go back out through the top like we always have and then back down through the through the front panel so 
Now I'm getting ready to drill, pilot drill my hole so I can screw in my plate. Finished product. Takeaways from this install, it's a relatively easy install, depending on the boat you have. Measure, measure, measure. Um, if you've got a Ranger, you're gonna be digging foam out, not a big deal. Use a uh, multi-tool and a serrated knife from your wife's kitchen knife set. They work great to get the big chunks of foam broke up. Flathead screwdriver pops foam out, easy enough. I had about a whole garbage bag full of foam. I think it's a pretty easy install. Um, not for the faint of heart. Cutting that hole is uh, definitely a, it'll make you think twice, but it was cool install and the trolling motor sits so flush now, it won't be any more of the uh, pirate stance. Thanks for watching.